Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So I decided to do kind of an about me tag. And the main reason is just because I feel like I've gained a few followers here and there just from my wish haul, which again, thank you guys so, so much for watching that video. It's seriously such a blessing to me knowing that there's people out there that want to watch me. I know I've said this before, but it's just crazy. So yeah, I just thought I would hop on here and answer a few questions I've found online. I literally just googled get to know me tag. <laughs> So there's just like 50 questions here. I'm going to go ahead and answer most of them. And hopefully I don't bore you guys. For those of you who actually do want to get to know me a little bit better, hopefully this will kind of help. And I might even add on some questions that I feel like you guys might want to know at the end. So yeah, my cat is in the background. So sorry if that's kind of distracting, but she's just my little child. Her name's Ellie, if you guys want to know. <laughs> Pat her since she's a kitten. All right. So the first question is, what is your name? And obviously it's Francine. I mean, I didn't make up a stage name or anything like that. I'm born with that name. I've heard it all. I've heard Francine from Arthur, The Nanny, Family Guy. I don't know. I don't really watch any of those shows, but I did watch Arthur when I was a kid. And I thought it was really cool that there was someone with my name because it is kind of a rare name. I always think it's kind of like a granny name, <laughs> like an old grandma. But nevertheless, that is what people call me or some of my really close family and friends call me Fran. But for the most part, Francine. What does my name mean? What kind of question is that? <laughs> so the story behind my name isn't really that interesting, but my dad's name is Frank, and my parents were hoping for a baby boy, and they were gonna name him Frank Jr. or Frankie, but they came out with me, <laughs> and I'm a girl, so they went with something close enough, which is Francine. Where are you from? See, I hate this question because I never know, like, what do they mean? Like, where do I live right now? Or where was I born? Or where did I grow up? They're all different answers. <laughs> so I was born in Walnut Creek, California, and then I grew up on the East Coast near DC, and I lived there for most of my life. And then when I was about 15, I moved to Utah. I grew up in northern Utah for seven years, and then I just barely moved here. I live near Sacramento in California, and I've only lived here for like a couple months now, so that is, I guess, where I'm from. I don't know. But I usually say that I'm just from D.C. because I consider that's like where I spent the majority of my life so far, so I say that's where I'm usually from. The next one is, what do you do for a living? This question's a little bit weird because right now I'm actually not necessarily doing something, but I am a master esthetician. I was licensed in Utah, so right now I'm actually in the process of getting my license transferred here to California, which has been quite the struggle. <laughs> I actually have to take my practical and my written exams again, which is kind of a pain, but hopefully it will be worth it. And then I did just have a job interview at just a local diner, so hopefully I will get that job just in the meantime. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hopefully one day I will go back to school though, and I want to probably be like a plastic surgeon assistant or something like that. What is your favorite color? <laughs> this is like, I don't know who wrote this, but I feel like a five-year-old wrote these questions. But honestly, my favorite color is kind of, I don't know if you guys have seen my room tour, but there's like an accent wall. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a dusty rose-ish color. I don't know, a muted pink. What is your star sign? I am a Leo. My birthday is actually coming up in like a couple weeks, August 3rd. What is your favorite music genre? That's, I hate that question too, honestly. I just listen to, a, I don't know, I listen to whatever's on my Spotify. If you guys have Spotify, you know there's like that playlist where they like recommend songs to you. That's where I usually get most of the songs I listen to. So lately I've been listening to Lana Del Rey's new album. I really like The Weeknd and Drake. I like some EDM, electronic, chill type of music. And I also like some alternative music like Group Love seen them twice. Favorite food? I really like a lot of different kinds of food. It really depends on my mood, honestly. I'm a chocoholic. I need help. <laughs> I am obsessed with anything chocolate, mostly milk chocolate and anything with peanut butter also. But actual, as far as like a meal goes, I like pizza, Mexican food, and Chinese food the most. Favorite drink? I don't really have 
have a favorite drink. I don't, I don't know. I mostly just drink water. I have this huge Hydro Flask that I always have with me. If I had to choose, probably like lemonade or something, but I honestly don't ever drink soda. If I had to choose a soda, I'd probably choose like orange soda. These questions are so boring, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's skip some of these. Um, favorite holiday? I love Christmas. That's really basic, but I love Christmas time. Everything about it is so magical ever since I was a kid, but a close favorite would probably have to be Halloween. I absolutely love everything about fall time and going to scary like haunted houses and corn mazes and things like that. It's just so fun. And I love dressing up too and I will definitely be putting up some Halloween tutorials this year. I'm so excited. Favorite pastime? YouTube as of right now. I'm always coming up with lists on my phone for like video ideas and I'm always getting inspiration from other YouTubers. You know, like I just love doing YouTube right now. That's probably my main hobby. Other than that, I am obsessed with online shopping and I am definitely a shopaholic and I definitely have a problem <laughs> with that also. Probably those are my main two hobbies. Favorite sports? Honestly, I don't play sports. I don't watch sports. When I was younger, I played soccer for like a year so I guess soccer I actually kind of like basketball like when I was in PE I liked basketball and what is something you're talented at I don't like these questions <laughs> I'm gonna skip that what is something you wish you were talented at I wish I was talented at makeup and nails because I would save a lot of money a if I could do my own nails and makeup I really I used to be so bomb at doing a winged eyeliner when I was in high school I used to do it every single day but then I randomly went through like a stage during my senior year where I just stopped wearing eyeliner altogether and I just thought it made my eyelashes look longer <laughs> so I kind of forgot how to do it is that weird has that ever happened to anybody else where like they had a talent or a skill and they hadn't done it in like years and now all of a sudden they like can't do it as good like I literally can't do a wink to save my life and I'm practicing but it's hard <laughs> so props to all you girls out there who can do a really good wing describe yourself in a single sentence weird <laughs> I don't know that's not a sentence that that's a word I don't know these questions are dumb what is the best compliment you have ever received honestly off that wish haul you guys are giving me so many compliments it makes my day every day when I wake up I check my comments and I mean of course there are haters because I feel like the more views you get the more haters you're gonna get but other than that you guys are like literally the sweetest like you keep telling me I look like this girl from that show called Riverdale I'll put a picture right here if you think I look like her let me know but I can kind of see it because I always wear my hair like kind of how she does but other than that not really anyways you guys are the sweetest the thing I've been getting a lot is that my voice is soothing or relaxing which I think is really funny because I feel like my voice is not at all soothing or relaxing to me Michelle Phan's voice is goals like she is ASMR queen um <laughs> but anyway what are some of your bad habits probably procrastinating but I've been working on that and also eating really bad is one of my bad habits and probably staying up late <laughs> what is on top of your bucket list I would say just travel I really 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 want to travel the world honestly I have no idea when that's going to happen and I'm praying that I at least get to see Europe before I die <laughs> and Australia those are the two places I want to go specifically I would love to go to like obviously the most popular places which is like Paris even like Italy or I've actually really really wanted to go to Greece I've seen so many pictures and it's so beautiful there I would love to go there, but we'll see. <laughs> what is your biggest accomplishment? Probably just, I know this is about to sound really cheesy, but I decided to follow my dreams <laughs> and do a career that's not necessarily something everybody else does. You know, I just didn't want to do a job just for money because I was a CNA for three years and I absolutely hated it for the most part. So I, I just kind of figured, you know what, I just can't do the medical field. So, you know, I dropped out of college. I decided to do something completely different and I absolutely love all things beauty and skincare and all of that so that's why I ended up going into the esthetician world and now I get to help other women and men feel beautiful and their best and I know I'm sounding so cheesy <laughs> yeah that's my biggest accomplishment I'm really proud of myself for like just kind of doing my own thing and screw what society says I guess skipping some of these questions by the way because they're kind of lame who is your role model that's a really good question probably 
my mom and my dad are my biggest role models because they both had a lot of struggles in life and I just really look up to them obviously and would love to be in their position they are today like when I'm their age. Like I'd love to like, retire early and provide a good life for your family and all that. What is the last book you read? Probably Shane's book, Shane Dawson. He wrote two books, I actually read both of those, but... And then before that would probably be The Fault in Our Stars. I really don't read that often unless there's like a book by someone I really like, like Shane. But yeah, I should read more. My dad's obsessed with reading, but I didn't get that trait, unfortunately. <laughs> These questions are so dumb. They're literally asking what was your favorite subject in school? Who was your favorite teacher? Like, I don't even remember half my teacher's names. <laughs> it's been a while since I've graduated high school. So I think I'll answer some of those questions. I'm gonna kind of make up some of these, but. So my age right now, it is 2017 and I am 21. I will be 22 in August. Like I just said, one of these questions says best memory you have. I have a lot of really, really good memories, mostly from my childhood. I had an amazing childhood and I'm so 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 like words cannot express how grateful I am for my childhood because I just know there are so many kids out there that aren't as lucky as me and you know they have like either separated parents or domestic violence or they could be poor or struggling in some sort of way and I just you know I got to travel because of my dad's job I went to Disney World I went to Tennessee I went all over and those weren't even the best memories I mean yeah those were fun but honestly just <laughs> so dumb but you know playing outside with my friends and my little sister and playing Barbies some of those are literally like, like just my whole childhood as a whole for the most part is my best memory is once you grow up it's not the same and I'm gonna get really cheesy again but you know some days you just wish you could go back just got real sad <laughs> how many relationships have you been in I guess two or three um, I don't really count relationships that lasted like a couple months or whatever so I mean I really only had two main boyfriends in my life so far and I am single right now in case you were wondering but I am not looking at the moment if you could give your younger self any advice what would it be I'd give her a ton of advice like I was so insecure growing up especially like as a teenager I guess and in middle school I really struggled mainly like with my acne and stuff I did do have a whole video on my whole acne story you should watch it if you haven't seen that you'll definitely get to know a little bit more about me through that video but you know just be confident girl like and just be yourself <laughs> I am so cheesy oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> but I don't know just you know and have fun not too much fun though but that would probably be my advice for myself as a kid so yeah I mean there's a bunch of other random questions on here <laughs> they're m mostly pretty lame so dang i found a way better one on here on google images They're asking me like what my favorite song is anyway i'm not trying to get copywritten but this song called quit by Cashmere Cat featuring Ariana Grande. I hate listening to the songs on the radio and stuff. And I don't even know if the song's on the radio. I don't listen to the radio very often, but I heard this in one of my suggested playlists on Spotify and am literally obsessed with that song. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it here, guys, because this video is super long already. But yeah, I hope you guys got to learn a little bit about me. <laughs> and if you have any sort of video suggestions, please do leave them down below. I really want to do the turning my best friend into me tag, but my friend hasn't gotten back to me. So girl, if you're watching this video, you know know who you are answer my text <laughs> um and then i want to do the spicy noodle challenge i'm not sure if i'm going to do that one by myself or with somebody because so far i haven't been able to find anybody that wants to do it with me maybe my niece or something and then i also have stuff for an aliexpress haul and then i'm also going to be doing like a diy clothing video anyway video ideas leave them down below and again thank you guys so much for subscribing to me I have hit like 1500 subscribers at the moment I think and it's just been amazing <laughs> I just am really really glad that you guys care enough to watch me so yeah thought I would wake up my little baby to say bye but bye YouTube see you in my next video she hates me